Hi submarine friends. Well, I've been pretty busy this morning and I drilled the aft head. I had to drill four holes an inch and three eighths, which is no small feat, but I've got those hole saws and I make a guide and it's actually not that bad. The difficult part was I had to climb up inside the rear ballast tank. So I have this this belly pen that has four bolts holding it on and I removed that with a floor jack. Then I had to jack up the submarine so I could slide in there. And uh, luckily that back ballast tank is really huge. So lots of room for me in there, but you know, it's the old story. When you crawl into a space, for sure you forgot a tool. So I did that about three times. So anyways, I got it drilled and I welded in those bushings and now I'm running my hydraulic lines. I don't know if you can see it, but in the back there, I've got two of the 4,500 PSI shutoff valves installed and the hydraulic hoses are connected. And now these two hoses, they're uh, 3 8 hose and they go to right about here, which is where the uh, steering valve will sit. It'll be mounted on top of the variable ballast tank which is right here and you can see this the throttle and shifter is in and all hooked up so i'm really lucky one of the reasons i wanted to go with hydraulic drive is because i have all the stuff so i have lots and lots of hoses left over from projects over the years and they really have very low hours on them so they'll work just fine so these are the steering lines and then the two below that are not in yet because I need fittings. I'm short on number eight fittings. I got lots of number six, but not number eight. And that goes to the valve on the hydraulic pump. This pump is nice because it's a pump, reservoir and valve all in one. And this cable right here, which needs to have clamps on it to secure it, but that's connected here to, to the to the shifter and it's all hooked up and working. Works really good. So that's what I did today. And Monday, I'm gonna go get fittings in uh, Big Town. And then I'll be able to hook up the rest of the hoses. And then I've got some long hoses that go from the back side of this right to the rudder motor and to the, um, to the main drive motor. Now I wanna use half inch lines for that. Even though the pump discharges at 3 8 lines, I'm still gonna use half inch lines. I don't want any losses or I wanna minimize my losses in the hydraulic hoses. Bigger is always better. Now for the steering, I can use quarter inch because it's gonna be very slow. So even though these are 3 8 I'm using 3 8 because I have them, but from the, from the aft head back, I'll use quarter inch line. I got miles of quarter inch hoses, so that's no problem. I'm just short on fittings, but Monday that'll change. Then it's on to the exhaust system. And I've made some design improvements on the exhaust system, which is going to speed up the build. And I think we'll just make it better. Anyways, that's for the next video. Ciao.